People living in Oshkosh are raising money for the family of a girl who was killed in an accident recently. Oshkosh police say four-year-old Aria Vaughn was hit by a car while riding her bike. She was brought to a hospital where she later on died. Today, a benefit was hosted at Sliders and Treats. They say in times like this is when people are there for their fellow neighbor. That's, that's what a community is to me. That's how I was raised. So just helping, helping others, you know. And it's, it's a tragic thing having, having this happen to a family. You know, you don't expect that. And donations can also be made at Associated Bank in Oshkosh. For more information on that, just visit our website at NBC26.com. A study at UW-Madison shows people in Wisconsin are concerned about not having enough young people in smaller communities. One professor studied more than 1,000 communities and found more than 200 are getting younger people and are keeping young adults only. Now, research says the loss of younger people can boost the cost of schools and public services. And a special day for hundreds of University of Wisconsin Green Bay students as they walked across the stage. It was the school's 97th commencement ceremony. Hundreds were awarded their diplomas at the school's Crest Center. The school says this year they had nearly 1,000 graduates and nearly 90% of them live right here in the Badger State. Big congratulations to the class of 2008. And when we come back, still can't decide what to get mom on her special day. We can help you with that after the break. But first, what's the weather going to look like for the rest of the weekend? Forecasts up next. And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. It's a mild, relatively mild evening with temperatures in the upper 40s right now and calm winds. This afternoon, though, we had a nice start to the day. We had a sunny start with some high-level clouds that were passing through the area. But later on into the afternoon, we had those clouds start to increase in coverage and limit the sunshine because of some showers that developed later on in the evening hours. But at least we did warm up into the upper 50s, so that filtered sunshine did help us out a little bit. This evening, we're a little cooler in the 40s for most of us along the lakeshore, 43 right now in Sheboygan. 52, though, up towards Shawano, 51 in Wapaka, 44 in Sister Bay, and 48 in Sturgeon Bay. Temperatures right now are several degrees warmer than where we were at this time last night, between 5 to 10 degrees or so. And we will be adding on to those temperatures as we get towards tomorrow because winds will be coming in out of the south and southwest. We have winds light and variable right now. They will eventually change out of the south and southwest tomorrow as a high pressure will be shifting off to the east. And we get that return flow. You see that in the skycast model. So that's part of the reason why we will go back into the 70 degree range with the exception for areas along the lakeshore because of a lake breeze. Sky, uh, the radar is showing a few light rain showers. Most of it is now down and confined south of Highway 10. And as we go over the next few hours, the rain showers will continue to diminish down to the south where we have a line of training thunderstorms that have developed over southern Wisconsin just north of a warm front. And what that line of thunderstorms are doing is that as this moisture rides over this stationary boundary, this line of thunderstorms are preventing that moisture from moving farther northward. So for us, over the next few hours, expect that rainfall to move out of the area and we should be staying dry. And that's good news because we still have the flood warnings in effect for the Wolf River and also the Fox River. And we're expected to have that decrease below flood stage by early next week. So that's some great news. For tonight, cooling down into the 40s. Notice the sky cover as clouds start to clear out by the morning hours tomorrow. And then by the afternoon, we rise up into the upper 50s and lower 60s for your Mother's Day, expecting temperatures to be between 5 to 8 degrees above the normal for this time of year and then on Monday once again back into the 70s 40 degrees tonight winds very light out of the north and northeast between 2 to 5 miles per hour a little bit of cloud cover but I do think we'll see more sunshine tomorrow for your mother's day forecast high of 71 degrees winds out of the south and southwest between 5 to 10 miles per hour so a very light breeze then we get into the early part of next week Monday going into the upper 70s a little cooler as we get towards Tuesday back to near 80 degrees on Wednesday, and then as we end the work week into the weekend, we do have a little bit of a cool down, and there is a possibility of a chance of some showers or thunderstorms. It depends exactly where the system sets up. Right now, I'm keeping it off the forecast mode, but as we get closer, yeah, yeah, Friday and Saturday, yeah. we'll have to watch out for that. Mama Recchia will be so proud. Her son is giving the gift of good weather this week. I know, 70s, it's great. All right, thank you so much, You know, We got more news after the break. Stay with us. 
Welcome back. Nearly 100 kids from Northeast Wisconsin got a crash course in fishing today. The event was put on at Osprey Point in De Pere by a Fish for Kids. Organizers say it's a way for kids to learn how to fish and get excited about nature. It was also a partnership with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Organizers say it's a great way for kids to bond and have fun at the same time. It makes their matches stronger and last longer when they can do activities together um, that are with other matches. Nearly 200 people, including volunteers, were in attendance today.